Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at the specific case of projectile motion where objects are dropped from rest. So let's get started. This is the first case of projectile motion that we're looking at, and it's actually the simplest. So it says here that when an object at a certain height is dropped from rest, gravity will be acting against it, causing it to fall to the ground. There's no horizontal motion involved. So it's simply vertical motion, and it's common sense that gravity will be acting on the object. So here's a picture showing you an object dropped from rest. And the only things to mention for this is that when choosing upwards to be positive and downwards to be negative, acceleration due to gravity will always be negative. So A will take a value of minus 9.8 meters per second squared if you're choosing your sign convention like this. And it makes sense for projectile problems to define upwards as positive and downwards as negative. It then says, since the object is initially at rest, u equals zero meters per second. So because we're only thinking about vertical motion here, this is your initial vertical velocity, which will always be zero meters per second. And as we've said, that's because the object is always starting at rest. So these are the two key ideas that you'll need to remember when dealing with objects dropped from rest. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you find it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.